Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and we are back again with The Last of Us Part 2. So, I just started things back up, um, it reloaded us, I, I guess what the checkpoint was. We still have, uh, some of the notes and stuff from last time, so everything that happened at the end of last episode still holds true. And <laughs> everything, so I don't need to go back and repeat any of that. But I have it paused right now because they're just repeating dialogue and stuff that they've already said, and I don't want it to start triggering new dialogue. So, quick recap! Last episode... We got captured by the WLF after we followed in Tommy's footsteps and everything. As we were following Tommy's footsteps, we found uh, one of the group that killed Joel and everything, beaten to death, presumably by Tommy to get information out of him. As we tried to follow up on that information, we got ambushed by the WLF. They took Ellie. Dina got away. As they were interrogating us, another one of the Joel group was there and threatening Ellie and all that crap and some other guys showed up and was like, oh, he's ordered us to execute all trespassers and everything. Then Dina showed up, killed them both, and we got the hell out of there. And so now we are out without horse because the douchebags killed poor Shimmer, which I felt it coming. I knew it was going to happen. She's too good to be true, but it <laughs> still hurts. Um, yeah, after that... We're trying to get to the tall buildings over there to find this Leah chick who I have a note and a picture from to whoever the guy was that Dina killed. Jordan. Anything. Apparently they were in a relationship. But our goal is to go and capture her and, uh, you know, interrogate and murder. <laughs> Anything. But at the end of the last episode, we went to a house, found some runners and some dead WLF guys that were just getting drunk and hanging out kind of thing. Let's see. Map can be viewed in my collectibles. I don't know. Can I do it? Not here, right? If I just press and hold, maybe. I don't know. Uh, no. I don't, I don't know what you're after here, man. So this is my training cards. These are my training manuals. That's artifacts. I, I don't know what they're on about collectibles. I think I'm past the point where the map is going to be useful for me anyway. So I think we're just kind of wondering about. Yeah, if I press that once, then it was press and hold before, but that just automatically triggers back to that, so it's fine. Um, also, apparently I need a workbench if I want to save my melee weapons, so not holding out much hope that it survives any more encounters. Okay, yeah, that's where we went in and found the whole Chevy guy. There's a capital N over here that caught my eye last episode. Something keeps bugging me. Mm-hmm. Why didn't they kill you and Tommy when they had the We had chance? this conversation before, I think. I don't know. It seems reckless. Maybe they're dumb. Maybe. Again. I'm pulling true with what I said before. I just don't think what? they were Maybe after they us. Weren't who they were looking for. Exactly. They were so after Joel. Go. Yeah, well, they did beat the shit out of us. The one guy Jordan kicked my face in. Yeah, but why do you think that they didn't finish It the doesn't matter. They fucked up. They did. Hmm. What was the name of the girl in the note? The one in the TV station? Leah. Was she the one... Uh, was she the one with the braid? No. No. That's Abby. Only thing I remember about her was the son of her crying over that sadistic fuck's face when I sliced him open. So, how do you want to handle her? Find out what she knows. Find out where the others are. Go from there. You gonna ask her why they did it? Yeah. Any of this jogging memories of stuff Joel said about his past? Nothing new. What are the chances he did stuff that you don't know about? 
Okay, um, yeah, this is all the stuff we had last episode. It wasn't, um, it wasn't very big on sharing. I wonder what Tom would think about all this. Probably expected it all. Probably know more about all the people Joel crossed. Hmm. What are you doing with that? Come on. Help me out here, girl. Come on. Just one. Burke. Come on. Oh, I can only go to the right with it. Okay, there we go. I guess it was just caught on something. All right, beautiful. Let's see what's up here. I'll keep watch. Okay, we do got light. Try to be a bit more brave now. As if it's going to have a jump scare on us, it's just going to have a jump scare on us. There's nothing else we can do about that. Oh, look, notes. Unexpected. Viv, we were robbed last night. It was Jimmy. I hope he acted alone. If you guys are in a rough spot, you can talk to me. Care for you and your son. Now more than ever, we need to be looking out for each other. There are enough criminals running this city. Oh, wait, flip. Hello. Add a little salt and some water to these, and it's almost taste and it almost tastes like the real thing. It's not much, but hopefully it'll help get you to the next drop off at least. I wonder what he gave him. Hmm. So, seeing a mom and son trying to survive during the federal occupation. Hmm. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, my boy. <laughs> Love that book. Uh, hopefully you're not still here and I ain't gonna have to murder your corpse, kiddo. But good news is it looks like they might have gone out. Let's see about Mama Bear, though. Watch that bitch pop out of that closet. Okay. Whole bunch of stuff for me. What the fuck is this? Some kind of bomb? Trap mines explode when enemies get near them. Huh. Nice craftsmanship. Trap mine unlocked for us. Looks like Mama. It's quite knowledgeable. And ready. <laughs> she wasn't taking any more of Jimmy's shit, it looks like. <laughs> Alright, and nothing over here. Can't do anything with the wine. So, we are out. Was it worth it? Yeah. Got Pretty some good, good stuff. WLF rules must be followed. Let's see, all WLF soldiers' instructions must be followed. Seattle traded one shitty ruler for another. Looks like Fredra collaborators will be executed. How old do you think this is? Permission required for leaving a same zone. A they probably put it up right after everything went down with the military. Curfew will stay in effect until fair notice. It must have been scary for all these people. First the outbreak, then Fedra. Then the wolves. I wonder how many stuck around and joined these WLF fuckers. Good question. I mean, just looking at the sign, it's like, what's the difference? <laughs> Except you go from organized military to just ragtag group, but kind of like the same whole rule. You know, agree without question. <laughs> All right. 
Not terrible. <gasps> Trading cards! What we got here? Rockefeller. I'm going hero. Yes. All right, 60% brains, 100% brown. Affiliation Society of Champions. Real name, Norman Stryker. Real estate and construction magnate Norman Stryker's kind of achievement was the Spark headquarters, both the part visible to the world and the massive subterranean laboratory complex. But when he walked in on secret experiment, Lauren Folkalt tried to dispose of him in a quarry explosion. When the Society of Champions couldn't pull Stryker out of the rocks, Dr. Stem made the rocks a part of Stryker. Now covered head to toe in rock armor, Rockefeller <laughs> aims to tear the Spark headquarters down brick by brick, and he knows the place better than anyone. Neutral hero. He can build it, he can take it down. Oh, hey, I guess it goes. It does! Uh, wait. Yeah, it does! <laughs> All right, and then, wait, then did this just go into that one? Is this? Yeah, I guess we went in here. I just didn't notice the blandly open window. <laughs> Not bland. What am I looking for? Blatant. Blatant is the word. <laughs> the bland window. It's so boring. I couldn't even notice it. Ugh. All right. All this is overgrown past usefulness. Can I climb that? No, I cannot. I can't go any further there. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Back onto the main road to... God, I wish I could walk through bushes. They're just that immovable force, you know? <laughs> Must be all the branches. I kind of wonder what happens if I get in the water. <laughs> Can you swim, Al? Not deep enough. Well, that was pointlessly gross. I'm sorry. <laughs> do, 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 do. Okay. We are back on the main path here. The question is, would Fedra holding the festival here? Because this is the school. This is what we came out of. Okay. Yeah, that's where I jumped down. Okay, what am I missing? Because <laughs> there's the buildings. We are trying to walk towards the buildings. I have a giant freaking gro grove of shrubbery just blatantly in my way. There we go. That's the word. <laughs> All right, come on now. It's gotta be some other. Okay, if that goes into a dead end and the shrubs are in the way over there, then maybe I can walk through here. I cannot. I was foolish to ever think such a thing. Okay, maybe if I hop on the car and then hop on the bus, I can get over it. This is getting a little insane now. Or maybe... There's some way up over here? Yes! Maybe? No. I lied to myself. But there is a street on the other side there. But is it an accessible street? It looks like it would be. Oh my god. See what's there? Look, Dino! Look how clever we are! It just took us a couple loops to get it. I can still kind of see the buildings. Yep, that's the goal. Where do I wanna go? Uh, let's see. Okay, let's... Oh, I have still have my light on. Let's see. Uh, I probably could have also gone through there and jumped off. 
Okay, I want to check and see what's in there. Oh, yep. Shit, three of them. You know how many times I got food poisoning, or why do you think I took up fishing? Let's just go away. Yeah, I'm getting hungry. Oh. Yeah. Well, stop talking about food then. Yeah. <sighs> Might have heard something. I'll check it out. Look away, brother. Movement. Oh. You good? I'll see what it was. There's nothing here. Yeah, come on, buddy. We're good, we're good. You guys stay over there. <sighs> shush, shush, shush. It's hey, it's them! Behind the car! Shit. Oh, Ouch. Man. Thanks. <laughs> Love you, Dean. Oh god, he's still there. Ah, damn it! You could have done that sooner, sweetie. Oh shit! Okay, yep, I, I see what you're talking about now. <laughs> Shit. David, think to look. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, she got it. Any luck? No. I don't think so. Good. Just Shit. forgot my controls for a minute. <laughs> you recognize any of them? None. Okay. Bottle. Man, You're coming with me. Is huge, right? It's pretty massive. You think the wolves are spread out all over it? I sure hope not. And we can do without. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, I think I lost my weapon. Yeah, I just got my switchblade again. We are not setting things on fire. <laughs> okay. Look through all of these. I was gonna be really upset if that was a work punch. <laughs> Explosive stuff! Just what I wanted. Hmm. Okay, let's see if our little sniper guy left any goodies up top for us. And we can take a look out, get a lay of the land. Is that something? No, it's just a brick. Nope, no treats. Okay. Oh, and I could have climbed up on that and already seen him and gotten an eye for the others. We could have had the high ground. That just goes back to the street. That's fine. I think that might just be a fake room. Was that you? Was that me? <laughs> okay, that might have just been us running through the stuff. It just it's, it sounds suspicious. <laughs> it's very suspicious sounding grass. The type of grass you don't want on your side. Especially not when you have to sneak through it. Get prone in it. He'll betray you. He'll give up your spot to these damn wolves. Let's see. Got Bistro. Got a whole little main street going here. Okay, what's in here? Ha! Halloween store. Neat. Anything in here? I wonder if this will bring back any memories. Some of this stuff is funny looking. I'm not a fan. Oh, 
I guess it wouldn't bring back good memories, would it? Well, that made me kind of sad. <laughs> I think I thought she might have something fun to say about, you know, her little girlfriend from before, but I don't want to talk about it. We ain't going to make her. Oh, this looks like a spot with lots of good hiding spots. Thank you. What's in here? Not what I was after, but I appreciate. And though, there's 100% workbench in here. Ah, oh, we were so close! <laughs> I just didn't think we were going to run into one. Okay. I do like my shotgun. This could use some. Stability, capacity, make it go faster. Do that. And I should have enough. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, there's a bunch of them. Okay, crap, crap, crap. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> fuck! Right Motherfucker! Oh, so close. Ah, oh, we were so- Shit. You dick! Damn it, girl, get down! Gonna die, fucker. Yep, I am. Cause I suck at shooting. Damn, if I had just kept upgrading. <laughs> I don't know. Keep going with this. Hopefully I'll have another second before they show up. Because Dina will give me a heads up, won't you, Dina? And it's fire rate. Yep. Dad, Fuck! Here. Yeah. Ouch! Ouch! Did Dina shoot me? Oh no, he's here. Damn it. God damn it. Okay. Ah, shit. It's a bit further than I thought. Fuck. Hey, whenever you're ready, girl. Okay. Reload. I'll check your shot. Okay, hear them. another. Okay, now the bastard's over here. One there. Anybody find them? Nothing to report. 
Okay, I can't listen that far. Let's get this dick over here. I didn't even hear what they were talking about. Ouch! What the hell? I thought I had this. He's down. All right, any more? Has to be more. One. I heard at least two women. I see a guy out there, I'm pretty certain. Oh, there's probably somebody on the roof. Oh no, that is a woman. Sup? Nope. Ah, oh, there's the other one. Target practice. Oh wait, there's more. Dang, they have nice weapons, whatever they have. Ouch. Damn, I thought you were the other woman. You're not the other woman. <laughs> Come on in. You get her? Oh, no, it's him. You don't want me to look him in the eye? <laughs> Fuck these guys. <gasps> Red box! No. I mean tax box! <laughs> How many guys did they send looking for you? Too many. Wow, these are some super old ones. <sighs> yeah, that was quite the number. <laughs> So, work bunch, as I was saying. I think we have a bit more catching up to do. Okay, so I've upgraded that as much as I can. And do more for the capacity on this and stability, which would be good for ranged attacks. Stability is already pretty good on my pistol. I don't really care for much that one. Let's work on this. Wait, stability? Yeah. A nice, even aim. Okay. <sighs> and actually, I want that to be different. I want that to be that. I should have enough for another health kit. Well, I need it right now. I can make one of these trap ones. I mean, I could have used those, I guess. Yeah, I don't have a lot of ammo on these. Ugh! Why can't I find more ammo? Why did none of these get- there we go. Thank you. See, that's all I wanted. You have anything, mister? Watch me die? No. No, you don't. Hmm. You didn't have any- oh, wait, nope, she has a crowbar. Can you use that? I mean, can't use it for much, but I can use it. <laughs> Kinda of spooky back here. 
little bit of the creepy creep. And some scissors and explosive stuff. Alcohol. Give me all them crafting goods. Pills, pills, pills. Okay, something bad's going to be in the freaking ladies room. I can feel it. Or not. It's just normal creepy ass ladies room. Whatever. <laughs> that would be like full of something like runners or clickers and just waiting to tear us the limb from limb. Oh, uh, the rest of them must have been on this side. Okay. I wonder if I could have sent this entire place exploding. Also, these are totally WLF driven vehicles, right? No, I think, because I mean, they had the dogs and stuff in a car. Why can't we just hijack a car? <laughs> Wait, when did, when did the outbreak happen? Did it happen during Pride? Or are we just on a Pride street? Hmm. God, girl, you make so much noise. <laughs> Why the puddles? And there's at least three, all of which sound like clickers, maybe? Show your shit, girl. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> ah, shit. Oh, no, it is clicker. Crap. It, damn it. <laughs> How did you miss that? It was right in front of you. Ah, uh, I thought the damn shotguns were supposed to go wide. How did he even detect us? We stopped moving. You know what? Fuck it. We'll go after the clicker first. Walk into me, baby. Dina, why don't you take that one? No shit, Sherlock. Oh, oh, you got that one? You can actually do that then? Coolio. Did we go through a bookstore and into a club? What is this? <laughs> huh. No, this is just the very kick-ass back room of the bookstore, I think. Speaking of kick ass, some alcohol down there. Hmm. No, I was just wondering if I have enough for any upgrades. I do. I can move a little quicker when I'm listening, or 
Maybe we can fast start crafting or I can get my listen about clarity. Shoot. I didn't read that all the way through. I thought it might give me further range on it, but it doesn't say that. It just says sharper clarity. Hmm. Poop. I can move fast while prone, though, which would be nice. But so would moving faster while doing that. I probably want that improved health kit, though, so I think I should probably stick to the crafting tree next. Oh, look! Trading cards! <gasps> Dr. Stim. That just sounds potentially evil. No, no, he's cool. <laughs> Alright, so. Upal Roy is the real name. 100% brains, 40% brawn. I don't know why I'm saying percentage. I don't think that's true. Society of Champions is the affiliation. Losing both of her parents. Oh, it's a girl. Sorry. <laughs> both of her parents at a young age. Upal Roy threw herself into science studies. Determined to never let anyone experience the pain of and loss she felt as a child, now known as Dr. Stim, she collaborates with doctors and scientists around the world on life-saving and life-enhancing technologies. She also works with the Society of Champions to shut down Spark's no more nefarious schemes and eh, with technology of her own. Her tenacity and refusal to accept defeat is both her biggest strength and her greatest source of torment. I, I thought it was a little kid, but I guess it's just kind of a weird angle. Oh no! I am used of the books! I'm sorry, books. <laughs> I didn't realize I could knock down books. But this is probably good to know for future reference. These no, these Dr. books are falling off. The military over a decade ago. Why are they still so amped? There can't be that many trespassers that come through here. They keep on talking about scars. The city still looks like it's filled with supplies. I can't see why people would need to fight over it. So I'm guessing scars are probably an outside group. But it sounded, I didn't catch the full conversation, but it sounded like they were talking about transferring somewhere for the one guy. And they were talking about scars and all the crying. And everything, but if they're just executing people now, then I don't know. I'm sorry, getting a drink. Fran, it's happening. Early Sunday morning. Keep your people off the streets, but careful what you say. If Isaac finds out I talked, I'm fucked. Whole thing should be quick. Not a lot of Fedra left in the neighborhood. As we clear neighborhoods, we're moving everyone to the base. People shouldn't freak, it's temporary. Helps us keep track of good guys versus bad guys. Can't wait to sleep in the same bed with you again. No more sneaking notes in the stupid studio. Rebecca. Yeah, no, this sounds worse. This sounds way worse. How could they not understand how much worse this sounds? <laughs> Ugh. Maybe they, but it sounds like whatever they're calling Yes, health, please. <laughs> Whatever they're calling scars is people that they're probably capturing. And if we're going off of everything that we're gathering from the Isaac thing, it's probably people they're killing, too. What's with all the rainbows? Oh, do you not know, darling? You can find around here. The big book of gay. <laughs> Let's see. The Stonewall Riots. Ellie. Look. Yeah? What? What you got? Where you at? Bound to go wow wow! <laughs> oh, for Helga. Is Helga ready to know the secrets of the coveted sorority? For Helga, the most important part of college was pledging to Omega Theta Pi. Just, uh, wait. Phi? Is it Phi or Phi? Whatever. Just as her mother had 20 years earlier. It was going to open every door for her and to introduce her to a world of men who could give her the glamorous life of her dreams. Helga had legs for days and a smile that twinkled. Every fraternity man vied to take her out Friday nights, but none of them could fulfill her needs, and she came back to the house still craving. Fortunately, there was her sisterhood. Oh ho ho. 
at the sorority house, Elka found not just satisfaction, but an education in the hands of her big sister, kind of gross, Beth. She knew what a woman's body wanted better than any man. In the showers, cuddled up in a twin bed, the women discovered a world of pleasure. This is the door Helga never knew she needed opened. I don't like all the, like, incesty things. Come on. <laughs> And stuff. It happens in straight literature too. It's like, oh, the big brother will show her how it's done. It's like, no, stop Pornhub, no. <laughs> Why are we having these discussions? This is bad, bad game. Don't bring this up into my life. <laughs> oh my god. No. But. <laughs> it's just shit. Do you not understand nope. this? Wait, dudes. Two dudes. Dina, supplies. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. So, that's the thing. Probably gonna edit out some of that. <laughs> I just kind of went on a ramble there and, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Not feeling a guess. <laughs> Alright, so where are we at? Wait, am I going back the way? Yeah, I think I'm going back the way I came. Where am I? Did I go this way? No, no, yeah, this is the way we came. Let's see, should we have taken the book? I wonder if I stayed in there any longer, if they'd have more to say. Maybe we could head down there. What? Yeah. Into the Fedra zone? Maybe in a second. I just want to keep taking a peeky around. See what our wonders we can discover outside of erotic lesbian novels. Eh. Erotic lesbian novels, not knowledge. I don't know where my words are today. They're just all mixed up. Let's see. Let's see. What else can we find? Although I suspect you might get some knowledge from those books. <laughs> okay, wow, this goes back further than I thought it did. I thought this was just like a little drop down. And that circles us back all the way over there. I could have just circumvented the whole thing, huh? But then we would have never found the erotic ledger. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it goes down further. Something tells me I'm accidentally putting myself on the proper path. Okay. No, nope, that just goes back over to that. Dude, there's just so much space. Like, it's insane. <laughs> there's so much you can see and look around at. I'm sure I'm missing a ton of stuff, too. Okay, looks like I can go in here. Okay, I just see two. Three. And I got a clicker over there. Let's see which way the wind blows for her. I don't want to move too much because there's a lot on the ground here, but I could trip over and make her realize I'm here. Shish. Tell me you got the R one, Dina. Okay, and she should walk right into me. Oh, 
Come on. You're here. Oh, you got a friend over there. Good to know. <sighs> so good that these things can just be taken out with a freaking slit throat. That's what we have you for, Dina. And you didn't take out that one. No, nah, no, nah, it's cool. I got it. Let me release you from your suffering, brother. Okay, she stands up. We're good. We are not. Okay, we're good. God damn. It's good to have a little enemy checker to know when we're you know, actually safe or not. Pistol ammo. No? There we go. Trying to hide from me. Okay, a little bit of health kit. A little bit of actual health. Bring us up to speed. <laughs> nothing there, nothing here, nothing anywhere. Could have also gone in through that little door and come out with all this. Pistol ammo. Nuts and bolts, I'm assuming, judging by the case. Okay, there's a trading card down there. <laughs> I just got scared by the sound of things. Alright, Sergeant Frost. There's blood on it, but I think that might just be from the previous owner. So hero, hero. Okay, 40 bronze, 80 or 40 brains, 80 brown. Real name, Edward Frost, Affiliation Society of Champions. Once an ordinary soldier, Sergeant Edward Frost found himself the unwilling subject of a spark experiment. Infused with a mix of liquid nitrogen and radioactive material, he was left for dead by the scientists, but the cold put him in a state of suspended animation, allowing him to escape. Now known to the world as Sergeant Frost, he uses his cryogenic powers to aid the Society of Champions and seek justice against Spark. Seriously, we need some closure to all these <laughs> heroes and villains. I need to know who wins. Off the Arctic Fresh. It's not for you to climb on. Mm, I think that has a bit more than my pipe. Does it? No, no. My crowbar has more. Okay, whatever. Alright, nope. The grand exciting adventure is of scouting for materials. Okay, where... Where am I? I think I'm going this way, yeah. So there's that AT&T looking thing over there. Or DirecTV looking thing. I don't know. It looks like some kind of thing. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's why you're wooing at me. Okay, I'm counting. One, two, three. Oh. Make that four. Okay, let's just, uh... You saw nothing. Right Fuck you. <laughs> Damn it, girl, move. swap over. I can shoot too. Apparently not well. 
There we go. That's kind of better. Damn it. Where they at, girl? That's more like it. Jesus, stop screaming. Okay, got one over there, one over here. Ah, shit, that's where you are. Well, Omar's dead. Deal with it. Where they at, Dina? Oh, there he is. Ah. Nope. <laughs> that would be my luck, wouldn't it? Nope, I'm gonna need to get closer. Duck and weave. Ouch. Thought there was only the one. Got him. Good Jero. Ah! Damn it, down! Right in the butt. Yep, the butt shot. That's what kills. Okay. All quiet. You good? Yeah. We did die this time at least. We're improving. Okay. Body over here. You had a baseball bat. How's that uh look in the scheme of things? Pretty crappy. This bottle. Nope, he didn't have anything good. Well, let's explore up in here. <laughs> Practice, hard work, focus. It is kind of cool though that they added it. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that little, like, no, Omar! It's like, oh, okay, they have lives. <laughs> There, they just throw that at us. I mean, they already kind of do that with other stuff, like when they throw in pictures like these of the uh, families and all that before the apocalypse, but I don't think I recall any of, like, the rebel groups or anything having that kind of interaction before. Oh, that was just neat. Let's see. What else do we got? And again, it has been a while since I've played it, so. Boop, boop, boop. No, that's it? This is a crappy haul. Let's see. And one of these bastards was over here. In a... Yes. A Q. Flower shop. Oh, all the flowers took back the flower shop. <laughs> That's kind of cool, unless those are fake flowers. Yes, please. Oh, even more yes, please. Oh, the shotguns. Do, 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 do. Some rags. Yes, you. You're who I was looking for. I did get your head. Perfect headshot. Teddy bears. It might be fake flowers. I mean, I would like to think they're real, but... No, they might be real. Huh. Cool. <laughs> At least something survived, right? Sorry, Dina, I did not mean to just randomly butt you there. <laughs> Okay, I think this is where we went with the supermarket, right? Yeah, yeah, that's all that is. Just the supermarket. Alright, cool. Continuing forward. Bigger bros! Like, okay, I thought that was person. <laughs> Just the flag thing. 
No snacks? No snacks to fuel my rage? This is unacceptable. Pistol ammo. Oh, there is food. Give me that. Okay, and that's all full. Dina's already cleared this area. Good to know. Oh, there's stairs that go up. Oh, stairs are one to do. Alright, let's clear the rest of this. And then we can go up. Oh, that's a lot of goodies. Why does that make me suspicious? <laughs> do do Explosive goods. Oh, there is more food over there for me. And that should bring us to full health. It's being a little too generous, methinks. What you got? Nothing. Oh, wait, there's one more. Some pills! Okay. I mean, it's been good for ammo, but our way's kind of bust. Oh. Nope, that's the fire I have. Unless anything I can craft. Craft one of these. Okay, look. We're all nice and full. Yes, I could do the melee upgrade. Oh, okay. So it only works probably one time. So I didn't need a workbench. Whatever. Alright, upstairs. What secrets do you have for me? Can't go any further than this. Jesus, girl, can your steps be any heavier? Okay, pills, alcohol. Alcohol and pills, pills and alcohol. I found like two health kits that I can't do crap with. I just don't feel safe here. This is just too much open space. Unless it expects me to like come down and then see them walking in the street. I swear, it's like they keep on giving me potential vantage points where I can spot the enemies and then I don't find them until afterward. Ever so slightly unfair. What? No, you didn't see nothing. That was a lie. See nothing. Whatever, fuck you, man. Come on in. A little bit higher. There we go. I'm thinking he was probably with the other group. Okay, Dean, I think so too. And here's just somebody I missed. Somehow he missed the firefight going on down there. Hey, I think it's this way. Okay, give me a minute, girl. I think we're good, but yeah, fine, we're good. This way. No, we just drop down into the grass, I guess. <sighs> All right, well, that went better than expected. Okay. We got to the other side of the checkpoint. Now what? Now we climb up there. Maybe? Yes. Hey, Dina. Yeah. And help me up and we can end the episode. 
Give me your hand. Come on. Take it. Oh, X. <laughs> Upper body strength for the win. Hey, that round building. That starts like the TV station. Being a man. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Come on. We're going to take that thing down. And capture and torture and kill. You know, everything that's planned. But we will save that for our next episode. Sorry, it was just our kind of boring runaround episode, but that's what happened. All right. We did get some cute stuff, though, like the erotic novels. <laughs> I'm surprised that they didn't... Like, they seem to genuinely not understand any of it, which I found kind of surprising. Anything, because... I mean, it's clear that there are still, you know, gay couples and everything going around because, you know, there's them. They knew what I'm assuming was, you know, probably something along the F word or the D word for lesbians. No thing when they got into the fight with that old barkeep dude. Or when Joel got into the fight over it. So I'm pretty sure they, you know, knew that word. But they didn't know the flags and they didn't know what was up with the <laughs> erotic novels. And yet they know everything about pot and stuff. I'm kind of surprised that Tommy's Little Outpost wouldn't have random romance novels just lying around. <laughs> Anything. It seems like they're big on literature and all that. But, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know. It was kind of, you know, just fun run around stuff but I think I feel like this is more fun for me to just kind of like do on my own than it is for people to see but you know the story is all kind of tied into the run around stuff too so it's not like I can just drop it <laughs> no but uh yeah no that's pretty much where we're at uh next time we're going after Leah and we're cutting off her boobs so until then like and subscribe if you want to and thank you for watching